Yo, what's up guys? How are you guys doing today? It's me, Quick and Back, with a brand new video. And in today's video, we're going to look at the FIFA 15 Young Center Backs you should buy uh, for your FIFA 15 career mode or for your ultimate team. Today, we're going to look at a bunch of center backs, so this should be very fun. If you guys do enjoy this series, we're going to leave a like and a comment down below on which other center backs you're excited for uh, in FIFA 15. But let's do get this video up to 40 likes. I don't know if that's too much for you guys, but that is the target for today. 40 likes uh, for this FIFA 15 Young Center Backs video. This is going to be very fun. Uh, I'm going to be showing you guys a lot of, lot of players. All these players are under 20 years old, but this should be very exciting. We're going to take a look at five very good players that you guys should get that will cost you a little more money, but are worth it. Then we're going to take a look at cheaper players that won't cost as much, but their rating will be a little lower. But with that, let's get into this video. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, let's start off this episode with Aymeric Laporte. He plays for Athletic Bilbao, and he is the poster boy for today's video. And he is a center back. He is French, and look at those stats. So let's just take a look at his stats. He has 67 pace, 55 dribbling, but this is where it gets good. 83 defending and 80 physical. He had a great season with Athletic Bilbao last season, and if you do decide to get him in FIFA 15, he should be able to really help out your defense. He would cost around 10 to 20 million dollars because he's an 81 rated defender and I think he's looking to be like the next Rafa Varane so I think a lot of people are going to use this guy in the FIFA 15 career mode and overall he's looking to be very exciting with Atletico Bilbao. He did sign an extension for two more years uh, but he's already a great center back had a great season with Athletic Bilbao, and he is a great player that you guys should get uh, for your FIFA 15 career mode or for your ultimate team squad. He has great stats all around. He has 67 pace, but uh, that those defending and physical stats really do help uh, on uh, determining on whether you want him or not. Now let's move on to Matthias Ginter. He's a 77 rated center back, and look at those stats, 62 pace, 57 shooting, 63 passing, 65 dribbling, 80 defending, and 76 physical. Those stats aren't as good as Laporte, but those are still good stats for a 77 rated center back. He did recently sign for Borussia Dortmund. He was playing for another team uh, in the Bundesliga, but this guy was a great player to use in the last FIFA and FIFA 14. Hopefully he does turn out to be a very good player uh, in FIFA 15. But if you guys do want to buy this guy, you're going to have to wait until January or until the next summer transfer window because he recently signed with Borussia Dortmund and since he's a new player, Borussia Dortmund is not going to give him away. So you're going to have to wait until the January or summer transfer window. Uh, but he's still a very good young German center back and he reminds me so much of Mats Hummels. He has low pace but his defending and physical stats do come in play so he is a great German center back uh, that is very exciting to use in FIFA 15. Umtiti is the next center back on our list. He's a 76 rated French center back and look at those stats they're all around very good he has 74 pace which is what a lot of people are looking uh, for in center back so he has good pace he has 54 shooting 59 passing 63 dribbling 77 defending and 79 physical so you ultimate team players are really going to want this guy is going to be very cheap on ultimate team but in career mode he is going to be worth around 6 to 15 million dollars even more because he's very young he's barely 19 or 20 years old and he already has these good as uh, stats 74 pace 77 defending 79 physical that is very good uh, for a 76 rated center back but France is producing so many good center backs so let's take a look at Kurt Zuma who is another great French center back. Now the difference between Kurt Zuma and Umtiti is that Kurt Zuma is a 74 rated center back and he just joined with Chelsea so if you want to buy him you're gonna have to wait until January or the next summer transfer window and he has the same pace the same physical but he is a little worse in shooting passing dribbling and defending but nonetheless those are very good stats for a 74 rated center back and a lot of people are gonna use this guy uh, for their career mode I might pick him up in one of my my career modes because he's already a very good center back and the potential this guy has is insane but let's move on to our next center back Jesus Christ why does Netherlands have so many good damn young players we're gonna take a look at Congolo who's playing for Feyenoord he is Dutch and he's a 74 rated center back he is 
like the identical brother of Kurt Zuma because look at those stats. He has 78 pace, 42 shooting, 62 passing, 64 dribbling, 73 defending, and 74 physical. This guy is all around great passing, decent dribbling for a defender, and he has great pace. 78 pace, that is absolutely mental for a 74 rated center back and he is Dutch and I might use him also in one of my career modes you guys should pick him up and in ultimate team so he's another great Dutch center back and this is the last player that might cost you a lot of money he might cost you around six uh, to 13 million dollars in the career mode but let's move on to cheaper players that you can get in FIFA 15 they're still very good playing great clubs and you can get them for a very cheap amount of money all these players in front of you are 20 years old. You got a 72 rated player from Valencia. Uh, you got a player from Anderlecht who is also 72 rated. And you have a English center back uh, from Everton. I saw this guy play. He actually plays pretty damn good. And you have a Belgian player that is 71 rated. I'm just going to be skimming through these players. But if you guys want, you can pause it right now and look at these guys. These guys are very good and they're 20 years old. So they're going to be cheaper uh, than the other younger players. And uh, overall, they have very good stats. And from these four players, the player that I do recommend you guys get is Mbamba from Anderlecht. Look at his stats. He has 80 pace, great defending, good physical. And overall, he beats the hell out of all these players. And he is tied for the first highest rating uh, with Vezo. So if you guys want any of these defenders, I suggest you guys get Mbemba. Alright, now we move on to some 19-year-old players that you guys might be interested to get for your clubs. You got Jimenez from Atletico Madrid. You got Sully from Hoffenheim. You got Costas from Celta de Vigo from La Liga. You got Del Fabro from Leeds United. Uh, he is 68 rated and he's not that good compared to Ake who is really looking to be a very good young player from Chelsea. You got Tin Yedvai from Bayern Leverkusen. This guy was playing uh, for Roma but I think he was on loan and now he's with Bayern Leverkusen. And you have the final 19 year old or the second to last 19 year old that you guys should get for your clubs right now he's playing for Barcelona or Barcelona B and his name is Bognak he's a 65 rated center back but he has pretty decent stats all these players are very good I'm sorry that I'm just skimming right through this I'm just gonna be paying attention to the top five players I would want to get uh, for my career mode but these are all candidates uh, for my squad uh, for my career mode series uh, tell me what you guys think in the comment section down below but let's move on to the last four center backs we're going to take a look at for this few 15 young center backs to buy. We finally made it to the final four center backs and these are the final four. Uh, the first player is 19 years old but the last three are all under 18 years old. So the first player we're going to take a look at is Denier. He's a 64 rated center back. He's playing for Celtic. He is from Belgium and look at those stats. 76 pace. 62 defending, 73 physical. This guy is actually pretty good. He's from Belgium. You guys should get him. He's low rated. He's 19 years old. That's still a good rating for a very young player. Now let's move on to the last three players. We got Ta that plays in the German league, I think. We got Sutar that plays uh, in the Scottish league. And we have Ersoy who I think plays in the Turkish league. But from these last three players, the player I do suggest you guys get is Ta because he's a 68 rated center back. He is 18 years old. He has 62 pace, 68 defending, 72 physical. I mean, what else do you want from this guy? He is German and he's another young prospect. Now, this Suter guy that is from Scotland, he is a little younger uh, than Ta, but look at those stats. He has great pace, a decent defending and physical, and Ursoy is 17 years old and he is the youngest center back in the game that is the highest rated. So he's 17, 58 rated, but please tell me what you guys think about these center backs. Please leave your comment down below and leave a like on the video. The target is 40 likes. So please, let's hit 40 likes and I'll keep taking out these videos for you guys. But I hope you guys did enjoy. If you guys have any feedback for me, please leave a comment down below. Please don't let it be so harsh. Just critique me so I can get better. And I'm happy that I'm uploading again. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm Quinkin and I'll see you guys next time. A la Madrid!